All right, so I got an album and preach video uh, titled, This is a Sickness. And one thing I can tell you about album and preach, when I hit it, this is a sickness. I always had to tune in because now we're dealing, but not with only a sickness, but a madness woman or man who can't control their own self-esteem. And they put the life of people in jeopardy. And I just want this sickness or madness to be cared for good. And hopefully everybody had a Merry Christmas. But let's just jump right into it. Did you ever cheat? <laughs> it's probably time to drink. Stagafulaiza. This one is lost. <laughs> ah! Bishop Hajat. Who are you two, and how do you know each other? I'm Matthew. I'm Kay. My name is Erica. My name is Delvin. We're high school sweethearts. We dated for three years, and then now we're just friends. Are you friends? Yes. Do you occasionally hook up? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best type of friendship. Yeah, yeah, we just cool. We just seeing each other. You know, ain't nothing too serious. We not dating. But your boy still here now. <laughs> That'd be the best type of relationship for a while. But after a while, you know, and you just hooking up all the time. It can get pretty fun. I'm joking, but that shit don't ever die, bro. It only gets dead when, you know... You guys get in an argument, y'all not cool anymore, but uh, ain't nothing dead about that. Ain't nothing wrong. Sometimes some people are friends with benefits, other times people are just friends with complications. I think that's what these two are. Friends with complications. <laughs> I'm start saying that. That's are you guys friends with benefits? Really? Yeah, friends friends with, with, complica with complications. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Hey, hey, that's I mean, good. I think a lot of you need to change your Facebook status to friends with complications right now. You know what a friends with complications is? When two people are fucking, but the whole emotional state of everything is confused. Oh, yeah. Because friends with benefits to know this idea that you guys are friends. Yeah. But y'all just fuck on the side like yeah. just chill. Most of the time, it's not that. It's not that. There's always a bit of complication. Uh, you know, some, some feelings slithering mm -hmm. in talking about, mm, we were supposed to be just fucking. Turns out you fucking my feelings. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? You thought you was putting your dick inside me. Well, I was putting some love inside you. How you doing, girlfriend? <laughs> and so that's where the complications come in. Turns out it's not just physical. They get a little bit deeper. And I ain't talking about the dick. Who broke up? Hey, bro, and that is facts. <laughs> Depending who you are, you giving to the girl good, bro, she's going to catch feelings regardless. That's why I say friends and benefits never work out for too long because somebody always catches feelings. In my experience, I've never really been the one that really catch feelings. You know, I'm like, if you sleep with somebody, you're going to have feel something for them. I, I don't care who you are. You're going to feel something for them. Unless you out here fucking anything, then, hey, bro, you're on a different wavelength. But you're going to feel something for them. Not saying that you're going to be in love with them or shit like that. But most of the time, bro, women, they start, well, especially when they hit that liquor, bro, and y'all friends with benefits, they're going to tell you how they really feel. Up with who and why? She look like... Yeah, imagine if Where's Waldo went to an LGBTQ march and you had to find him. That's funny. <laughs> if she not Waldo, she wanted the decoys. You know, yes. like, you know the other ones wearing the same outfit, just staring at the fucking. You know when you say some shit perfectly, those yeah, yeah. there's that right amount of that was that. You broke up with me because you saw me as a brother. I actually avoided him for a month before actually breaking up with him. I'm still so sorry about that. And I am still so <laughs> forgiven. <laughs> he broke up with me because I sent him a picture with my friend's brother with his arm around me or something, which was completely harmless. I felt like she intentionally sent it <laughs> to set me off. Friends with complications, you were, like, once again, you're a wizard, Abba. Hey, listen. It's not that I'm a wizard. You know what it is? You feel vibe or some shit, whatever. No, you know what it is? What is it? 
is that most friends with benefits are friends with complications. I didn't predict anything. I just played the odds. I'm mad at it. Someone says they're friends with benefits. I'm like, there's some nonsense going on you, here. You, you, so one of you motherfuckers are lying to yourself. You roll, you roll the dice as exactly. snake eyes. You broke up with me? Why? Well, uh, you were dating someone else. Oh, so was there cheating that happened? Yes. She yes. No, you can't even deny that there was cheating. <laughs> my, my man's, my man's is really... <laughs> okay, see, I would just say my man's, <laughs> but... <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, this this weather. <coughs> Fucking nigga. <coughs> Woo. But yo. Is that a guy, girl? I don't wanna judge and like be like, yo, that's definitely a dude, bro. Do it. The sounds, the mannerisms, everything it still seems female. So I don't wanna point that out, but yeah, complications. This was it's hard to get through that. I, I I say, you could only be friends with benefit with someone for so long, too. Either way. And I, I don't get that, girl. You send a nigga, even if you're friends with benefits, like, no nobody want to see that shit. I mean, one bit told me, hey, I know we, we still fucking, but you mind if I do this other guy? Because, like, he's just here in town for a while, and I don't know if I like, bro. Ooh, bro. Go somewhere with that, bro. I don't... That's weird. I don't know. It, it just feels weird to me. It's not that I was even catching feelings. It's just... I don't know, bro. It, it just feel off. It's, my man is really excited to tell this story. <laughs> you saw the way he said that up? Oh, why did you break up with me? Oh, um, well, it was because you were dating someone else while you were dating me. Yeah. Do you remember that time where I caught you? fucking another person and that's why she was not in a relationship with me anymore and that's why she broke up yeah, yeah my man is excited to tell this story because he can always hold that shit over her head man look at her just smiling she don't not give no fucks you know how i found out about this too i'm with a friend and she goes you don't deserve people who make out with random people in bathrooms and i'm like what are you talking about and then you broke up with me over text the next day yeah that was fun we yeah, the pettiness is yeah. Yeah, that was fun. That was a great time. Yeah, I loved high school. <laughs> oh yeah, remember that time when you cheated on me with everybody on the football team, basically going rounds, They're taking friends football now? to the face, it's... and then when there were no more footballs, you were taking literal balls to the face. Yeah, and then I had to hear about it from the girls in the bathroom as they wrote it on the wall, and everyone got to read it before me. They said, "You need to read this right now." Yeah, and then you broke up with me the next day. Yeah, fun high times. school. Fun amazing. times. I miss it. <laughs> if we were to date now, do you think we would work out? <laughs> I think we would. We've like grown up together and we really like know each other. So I think mm -hmm. we would do a lot better. I agree with that. It would be good. It would, it would be good. We are the least compatible out of everyone I've dated. Like really? the least com That's just what your horoscope says, bro. No, you what do you that. mean? You know, we obviously get along really well and we know each other. We live together and we argue. Okay, I think that's kind of crazy as fuck to live with someone that cheat on you and that you was fighting with, bro. But you might as well put a ring in front of your living room and just bump her every day. Every morning you wake up, bro. Yeah, bitch, you know what time it is. Get in that motherfucking ring, bro. It's just, we about to go ham. But you should really bring up Zodiac signs, bro. I probably hate when people do that. It's like... Why nullify your potential, bro? Now you're just going based off what the fucking chart says. Not what you, your body, what you're thinking in your head. Like, you're not going off what that does. You're just looking at a chart and following you statistically. I mean, that's so boring and gay. We do argue. A lot. Is it weird living with each other? No. Not at all. Whoa. Y'all are not even friends with complications. Y'all are just complications. Y'all live together? You're complications. Hey, man, I done heard of some weird shit. This? But a woman cheating on me and then later on becoming my friend and she out there taking other dicks? And then and then that's my... That's on the new level. That's on the new level. God damn. I like having someone there. Yeah. Like, we have a romantic friendship connection mm -hmm. where... Woo! Romantic things going on. Take your shit. And go. <laughs> oh wait, it's a spooler. Huh? This is a sickness. Ah, you, you, you smelled that shit, right? 
they go out on dates while she is taking another man's semen. He has brought the napkin and cleaned her up. She said, eh, uh, now that you have had dinner, let us go out for dessert. My friends, eh, I like chickens, but I do not enjoy listening to cucks. Eh, <laughs> she's a papaya. This one is lost. We're okay being like doing those romantic things, going out on dates, holding hands, cuddling, but there's nothing sexual there at all. Like we sometimes kiss when we're drunk, but it feels like I'm kissing a family member. <laughs> Why would you ever want to say that? Why? Maybe you should have kept that inside your head. Like intrusive thoughts, yeah, they sometimes slip out, but most of the time, you should keep that shit in. Because especially that was your girl. And you look at her as a family member, bruh, bruh. Hey, man, you got some cousins, some better that's going to want to talk. Because <laughs> this is disgusting. This should not be a part of this society. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. My friends, friends. We yeah. have made a great mistake. Let us all gather together. together. Uh -huh. we, we have, have to, to work now. Call we we shall overcome. No, 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 no. We need, we need something, something stronger. stronger. Oh, we are going to go back to our roots. Huh? We have heard of voodoo. We are going to call on the mud spirits. Stack a fly. This one is lost. Big Hands up. Look at this one. That's what that. They are, they are kissing. 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 They, are they are holding hands. hands. And then this one finished with one sentence. sentence. Uh, it feels like, like a family, family member. You have, you have chosen, chosen to have, have a child. child. Not name self-respect. Oh, that, no, no, no. no. The, the idea of dignity has left your boat. It never was there. Uh, I don't the know. idea of self-esteem has come into existence and then been evaporated like Thanos. A committed suicide. This is disgusting. I, I, this, 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 we don't we want, want it in Uganda. Uganda. Keep, Keep it, it away. away. <laughs> this, is this is why, why the West, West they are going to lose. lose. What, what immature, immature things did I do when we dated? dated? Refused to tell <laughs> your parents for like seven, seven of the eight, eight months? months? Yeah. yeah. I was I under the impression, the impression that, that I wasn't, wasn't allowed, allowed to date, date anyone. <laughs> this one? Eh? Is she, is, is she is the sailor or the fish? I can tell. They, they call, call this, this one the fatty, fatty tuna. tuna. <laughs> it, is it is quite tasty. tasty. I yeah, love this, this one. one. Hey, hey, I tried, I tried it raw. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> so Ava just, Ava just admitted that he has a fetish for big girls, and I'm not mad at you, but you like what you like, man. You like what you like. But why she get hot? That seven or eight months. That's pretty good. I, I wouldn't want to show. I wouldn't want my girl to meet my um mom for like until like a year for like a whole year, cause you know uh, it's a lot, it might not last a year. Uh, after a good couple of four months, but that pussy might be dried out and old, and you might be getting not playing. But yeah, I don't know, at least wait a year. I'm sorry, bro. I, I love my mother. I don't want. I hate when some people try to force you to like meet your parents. Like, bro, like I remember I had a girlfriend. Like, it was within, like, the first two months she wanted me to be here. I'm like, yo, I don't even think I'm ready for that, bro. Like, I really like you, but that's not up my alley, me and Mama and Papa, bro. <laughs> that's just not my shit. Sorry, not sorry. Did you ever cheat? <laughs> it's probably time to drink. This one asked the question knowing the answer. He knew the answer. Ain't he this, knew. Ain't this the same girl that was taking a picture with her friend's brother and put it in? And then he asked if you ever cheated. She got it. That's the one. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I ain't got nothing against the song, but girl, you shady. There's people <laughs> who thought that you were with them when you were with me. Do you think we've improved in the bedroom since we've dated? Yes. Yes, of course. When I had my first person, it wasn't you. Then who was it? It was Daryl. Oh, he must have used his mouth. Yep. 
Yeah, I was bad at that back then. Yep. What negative things did your friends say about me when we dated? They would say, like, you're a cheater, you don't treat me right, but mostly that you're just selfish. <laughs> Do you remember what I look like naked? <laughs> I never found out. You never did. This is something that you don't know about me, but um, I was sexually assaulted by a stranger when I was a really little kid. Um, Awful. So, and I, and like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, I didn't even want to laugh. Y'all already getting really, really good. They fucking made me chuckle. I didn't want to even laugh at that, bro. That's not funny, bro. <laughs> when he came out with laughing, that shit had me dead. I'm sorry. Bro. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Not, now's the time you decided it was the moment to say that shit? I'm so ah, sorry. Nah, nah. I didn't mean to laugh. First off, him saying that kind of felt like it came out of nowhere. But maybe there's a reason what. But her replying, awful. That sounds terrible. It's so crazy. It's like if a girl told me she was great, I wouldn't be like, that sounds so terrible. Like, how do you count? <laughs> awful. Ugh. Getting dildos? That's such a terrible expression. Coming out of that moment. <laughs> Like, I was really little, and the main thing that popped in my head was just, like, I should be more careful, which has led to a lot of just anxiety over uh, not being fully clothed at all times. Do you think I've gotten better or worse looking since high school? <laughs> I already know the answer, bro. I definitely peaked in high school. It's all downhill from here. I like you, like, in your grown man era. Like, I like you a little thicker, I like your beard. You had such a baby face. You two are single? Uh, yeah. The way you look at each other. <laughs> are there still feelings here? I'll always love well, him. Well, yeah. I'll always love him. And she's always pretty. She's been pretty ever since, so. <laughs> Have you ever considered getting back together? I mean, if we're. In my opinion, bro, I think Shorty high as fuck. <laughs> bro, she's been laughing this whole interview, bro. I mean, don't even say much. When they talked about a dude putting her arms around her and sending a picture, she was happy as fuck. And then they talked about cheating, she's like, gee, 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 gee. it's time to drink. <laughs> yeah, bro, that, that bit came in stone. If not with someone in 10 years or whatever, then we'll probably just get married. But nothing like we would have girlfriends on the side. And... Like, the last time we seriously thought about it is when I had broken up with my baby's dad, which was three years ago now, but um, he wasn't ready. Definitely was not. What did our relationship teach you? It definitely just taught me like, if you need something, say it. Yeah. Because as much as I like to like tease you about the fact that you never kissed me, that was something I very much wanted that I never told you. You helped me to realize like my value, my worth. You're always telling me how much I've grown how proud you are of me. You always point out the positive things about me. Oh, so, he's a sim. <laughs> Cause she said baby daddy, so she left him. Let the other nigga, God bless, bust, ah! In that, had a kid, and he's just there being her emotional support. You know, do what you wanna do, but I'm just saying, bro, I don't think that could ever be my type of lifestyle. <laughs> It's taught me a lot about what I want, what I don't want in myself, mm -hmm. how to go into my next relationship and not put my insecurities and trauma or whatever that is on other people. I do feel bad about some of the things, so yeah. <laughs> a lot of things, it taught me a lot of things. Do you still love me? As a friend, yeah. I'd agree on that. I still have a lot of platonic love for you. Nice. And like, it meant so much to me that you were at our wedding. And I'm just glad to still have you in my life, yeah. dude. Do you still love me? I love you so much. Uh, I mean, in a friend way, but I still love you to death, and I think that's better than anything else. I love you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but I'm not gonna Aww. But yeah, I love you so much. I love you so much too. Of course I love you. Okay, I can't watch this. All right, so, all right let's watch it, let's watch that. Hey, man. What I take away from this video, some people got some weird ass relations, bro. And maybe, 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 I have no idea. Hey man, tease throw, bro. Tease throw, man.
Well, that's the video. Uh, great video by Alba and Preach, but man. Friends with benefits, I stay only do it for minimum three months, bro. Once you get the good shit uh, long enough, bro, I say like bang it every day, man. And then after that, bro, just if you don't want to be with that girl, bro, I say let it go because there's no point, bro. Because someone is going to get feelings and it, your whole relationship with that girl is going to change like drastically. Like you probably not even, you're going to probably hate that bitch. Not hate her because you've been in the guts, but y'all not going to be in it anymore, but hopefully you enjoyed the video i haven't been posted i was sick and then christmas came so like comment subscribe and i will be dropping for the rest of this week of course yeah